I started wood turning when I was at school. Limited time in class to do wood turning, but it's something that I always enjoyed doing. And it wasn't until latter years that I was able to take it up a little bit more seriously. I acquired the lathe and a number of other wood turning tools from a friend who got them from a, a relative that had, that had died and, managed, and I managed to buy them at a quite an advantageous price. I've made bowls, I've made pen blanks, mainly bowls really. No, I didn't pick it up fast, not to start with. But, uh, once, once you started getting the hang of, of what the wood turning was about and how to use the tools, uh, it started getting easier. A lot of it was, was just practicing the pieces of wood and not particularly making anything, just practicing using the tools. My favourite types of wood to turn would probably be close grained woods like maple or boxwood because they're easy to turn and they produce a nice smooth finish. Boxwood's quite difficult to get, get hold of, maple's a little bit easier. I've made some things from wood that's been chopped down from the garden. Some of it is sort of in, in, interesting, what they call burled wood, which is a swirly grain wood. The favourite thing that I've made is a rolling pin, which I made for a friend for a Christmas present. Uh, it involved gluing a number of pieces of wood together to make the, to make the size. It was cut and filled in many ways to, to, to make a Maltese cross design on it. And then once all the pieces of wood had been glued together, they were turned to produce a rolling pin. It was a fairly difficult piece to make, yes, because of the complexity of all the different pieces of wood that had to be glued together. I took the rolling pin as being a challenge uh, to do something that I'd never done before. And as such, it turned out very well. I was very pleased with it. Uh, wood turning does go wrong from time to time, yes. Accidents and break things. When you, when you actually uh, make something that turns out just how you want, it's uh, all a big bonus and you feel really good with it. Ooh, I enjoy wood turning because it's, it's relaxing. Uh, you're producing something which is a work of art, really. No two pieces are the same. Uh, either, either the wood is a, has got a different finish to it, or because things are done freehand, no two pieces are exactly the same. In many ways, it can be an art when you're producing, when you're producing something uh, which is there just to look at. Do I consider myself an artist? Um, a little bit, yes, a little bit. I think after I retire I shall probably do a lot more wood turning than I do now. <laughs>